YouTube so today I'm going to be making some baked flounder and I did some fried flounder the other week so I had some flounder still in the freezer and I decided today I'm gonna to go the healthier route and go ahead and bake it um, let me know in the comments down below how many of you guys like baked fish I can do either or it just depends on what mood I'm in so today I'm gonna to do baked fish I'll probably do some broccoli and some rice so um, we're gonna go ahead and get the fish seasoned and in the oven and while that's cooking I'll be making my broccoli and my rice and then I'll come back to you guys once I get everything cooked and show you the final plate so I'm gonna be seasoning my fish with some lemon pepper seasoning and this is just the McCormick brand I'm also gonna add just a little bit of garlic and onion powder just a little dash of the uh, smoked paprika and a little bit of parsley just for color. And I already have the oven on. I have it on 375 and it doesn't take long for the baked fish to cook and this is really thin pieces. Let me let you guys see. So it's very thin pieces. I have five pieces here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it seasoned and in the oven and pretty much by the time I um, fix my sides, the fish will be ready. So this is just some onion powder. It's gonna lightly season it with that. And you, if you're doing the lemon pepper seasoning, you can actually just use that alone. You don't have to add anything else. But I do like flavor, so I'm just gonna add just a little bit of other seasonings too, but not too much. Actually, I think I'm just going to use the regular um, regular paprika that doesn't have that smoked flavor to it. So I'm just going to use some regular, not the smoke today. And this is just mainly going to be for just the color that it gives the fish, not any flavor, but just the color. So you want to get that good and coat it with that, just like I said, just for the color. And I've already added some onion and garlic powder. And I'm going to add my lemon pepper seasoning. And this has salt in it already. Um, so I'm not going to add any additional salt because I think this will be enough. But you can definitely add salt to yours if you like. I definitely don't want it to be too salty, but I'm going to put a generous amount on here. So this should take care of the salt as well. Let me shake it up a little bit. It's not, not wanting to come out. I don't know why. Okay. just a second here this is new I'm not sure why it's not coming out all right so I just had to move that around a little bit so now it's coming out like it should and I love baked fish with lemon pepper I think that lemon pepper has a very nice flavor on seafood so I'm gonna now just add some parsley and again this is just for color so that it can look really nice when we plate it up and I'm gonna flip it over and then just do the same process and you want to make sure Cause I took this out of the freezer earlier and let it unthaw and um, then I um, make sure that before you add, add your seasonings just try to make sure that you pat the fish dry um, so it's not too wet so the seasoning will stay on there and not slide right off so make sure you do that so I'm gonna go in again with my garlic powder first I'm 
and there's not much in there so I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of that out I have another one that I need to open up but that's enough for this fish and this is the onion powder so make sure everything is evenly coated on there and then we're going to go in with the regular paprika and make sure you evenly coat that on the fish all right and then we're going to go in with the lemon pepper And since you're not adding any salt, you can be pretty generous with the lemon pepper, but not, don't overdo it because you don't want your fish to be salty, but you can um, be pretty generous with that because you're not adding any salt to it. And although this has salt in there, um, it has other seasoning, so it's not going to make it too salty. I've used it before, so I kind of know how far to take it and then this is going to be just the parsley and I am going to add just a little bit of um, black pepper even though the lemon pepper has pepper in it it's not a lot so I'm just going to add a little bit of black pepper to that and I'm not going to do both sides. And then I'm just going to kind of pat it in there, make sure the seasoning is in there and it kind of gets into, soaks into the fish. So when it cooks, you can really get that flavor. And when you eat it, you can taste all the flavors that we've seasoned it with on there. So just kind of pat that in there. All right. And I'm going to add... Um, I'm going to add just a little bit of butter to my pan. Um, actually, I should have added a little bit of oil to my fish, but I forgot to do that. So I'm going to just add a little bit of butter to my pan so that when it cooks, of course, we don't want it to be greasy. But we do want some kind of a little bit of oil on it while it's cooking so it won't dry out since it is very thin. So I'm just going to slice up some pieces of butter and add that to the pan here. And typically what I would do is um, put a little bit of olive oil on the um, fish before I season it. But I kind of forgot to do that. But this will work just as well. All right, so I have that, and so that butter's gonna melt and it's gonna kinda get on the pan so that will give it enough oil that it needs. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the oven, and I'm gonna go ahead and start getting my broccoli steamed and cook my rice, and I'm just cooking some white jasmine rice. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that, and when we come back, um, we should have everything cooked because it doesn't take very long at all, and I'll show you guys the final plate. So I'll be right back with you guys once the fish is ready. All right, you guys, so I'm back and I have taken the fish out of the oven and this is what it's looking like. You can tell that it's seasoned really good and that, like I said, that paprika, it just adds a very nice color. So the fish doesn't look really white. It looks like a nice, colorful um, dish. So I'm going to go ahead and plate everything up and let you guys see what it looks like. And that did not take any time at all. Like I said, the fish cooked very quickly because it was very thin. So it didn't take any time to cook that at all. I'm going to go ahead and put my broccoli here. And 
comment down below and let me know what you guys are having for dinner tonight and also let me know if you've tried any of my recipes or not necessarily recipes but any of the dishes that I've made so far I'm interested in knowing how you guys have liked those if you have and again definitely let me know if you have any suggestions of something that you want me to try I'm definitely up to trying new things you guys so here's the final plate here so I have my baked flounder and it's seasoned with um, lemon pepper seasoning a little bit of garlic and onion powder a little bit of pepper and some regular paprika I have some corn here this is just some regular Del Monte sweet corn and then I have some jasmine rice and I just added a pinch of salt and pepper to that and just a little bit of butter and a little bit of parsley for color and then I have my steamed broccoli here so this is a nice, quick, and healthy meal um, besides the rice, but you don't have to eat much of that or none at all if you're on a low-carb diet. You can just have the um, broccoli and the fish, and that will keep you within your carb limits, and you don't have to have the rice or the corn. But this is what I'm having for dinner tonight. And let me let you get an up-close look at that. All right, you guys, so that's that. Another nice, quick, easy meal. Let me know if you guys want to try that and how it turns out for you. Let me know if you prefer your fish baked or fried. I can eat mine either way. It just depends on what mood I'm in. But typically, if I'm at home cooking it for myself, I do typically bake it. Um, but if I'm out, um, I would more than likely get it fried. I really don't like frying things at home, but I will every blue moon. So let me know what your thoughts is on that. And as always, continue to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight and see you on the next one.